Well, my most memorable summer? Can't really remember. But one that has stayed with me for many, many years was a summer of middle school, preteen. I was bored. I was a preteen. I didn't have very much to do with my time. And the days of summer went by like months. I decided to pick up this blue book, it was very thick, and I read it cover to cover. Then I read it again from backwards to forward. The book, it ended up being a companion for life. And it's called the Webster New World Dictionary. Thinking about fun summer vacation memories for me, I can think of when I was a child, probably around the age of 15, my brother was 13. Dad was taking us to Roll of Fun from Topeka to Kansas City. On our way there, Dad got lost and pulled up into a funeral home to get directions. I applauded for getting directions, but the actual funeral was in procession. Cars were lined up, hers is in the you know, driveway, and dad stops to talk to the funeral director and say, how do I get to World of Fun? At that moment, I just wanted to just crawl under, I wanted to disappear. Uh, I have to applaud my dad for getting his directions and getting us to the uh, water park and we had, we had a great time. So thanks dad, it was fun. When I think of summer, I think of Korea. Because growing up, my family and I would try to visit the rest of our family and relatives in Korea during our summer breaks. And interestingly, I've only been to Korea during the summer, so I can't really differentiate Korea from the heat, humidity, and limited AC, and yet it's always worth it. About 20 years ago, my mother, who was a member of Rotary International, invited me to join her to go to the Rotary International Convention in Nice, in the south of France. Of course, I said yes. And we stayed in a hotel in Monte Carlo while we were there, and one morning, we were running to catch a bus that would take us over to Nice for one of the plenary sessions. And of course, we were running late. And I heard Italian music coming from the radio. And my mother is Italian, so not thinking, I looked at him and said, oh, Italiano! And he started chattering away at me in Italian, which I don't really speak. And he basically started having this entire conversation with me. So I told him, wait, 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 my mother speaks Italian. She got on the bus. It turned out they had grown up two towns apart in the south of Italy. And when we got to the parking lot in Nice, he let everybody else off the bus, turned to us and said, we'll have espresso. He had a little espresso machine on the bus. He locked everybody else out and let anyone else get on. And we sat and had espresso and talked about Italy. It's one of my favorite memories.